Is that it? Yeah. Y'all ain't going to believe this. Drove all the way up here, over here to race, and there's our old truck. I'll be dang. Okay, we're at Alltech Raceway. Got two crate cars up in there, the HTF one and the, actually, I don't know which one's where, but we got two cars in there, Jesse and Joseph. Jesse, I think you got a leg up on Joseph this trip. You've most recently raced here, and he hadn't raced crate here since last year, this time. Yeah, I'm gonna put him in the back. <laughs> him and everyone else, I hope. <laughs> Jesse was here. Last time any of us have been here was Jesse. Me and Joseph were not. We weren't here. That was Memorial Day weekend. Yeah. Because we were at uh, the show me. The Harvey Jones Memorial. So Jesse qualified. We talked about this. Y'all y'all heard about this by now. Jesse qualified well. That might be a highlight yeah. of my career. Okay. So far. Yeah. So far. Yeah. Did you hear that? Uh -huh. Your ears burning? Uh -huh. Jesse says uh, you're going down this weekend. I'm going to put you in a bag, son. Yeah. You and all the other... 50 something cars that are going to be here one of us does yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly be a good one to do it anyway is the powell family memorial all tech raceway lake city florida it's practice night so we'll be practicing tonight getting tuned up for a 27,000 to win main event practice night tonight preliminary heat race qualifying that kind of thing tomorrow and then the main event 27,000 to win main event will be on saturday Joseph will be in Faithful this weekend. What are we doing? Oh, last time we ran it was at Talladega. Last time we ran both these cars was at Talladega. We did win at Talladega on night one, and then fourth place with it on night two. It's been a couple weeks ago. Jesse will be in the HTF1 car, his usual ride. Come on up. Back now. Why? Those two cars strong. Biggest crate race of the year. Yeah, a crown jewel of crate racing. Yeah. Biggest race. I, I no, I get it. I've Where, heard that. Where's it from? Uh, it Water Boy. Yes. That was just a guess because y'all yes, always is. quote it's Water Boy. No, it's, no, it's. Where is it? Okay, it's from an Adam Sandler movie. Hold on. <laughs> it's the Water Boy. Last place. covers the mic. Says we know. We know. Yeah. Biggest race of the year, great race of the year, and I'm trying something new. Hey. Quit! <laughs> All right, anyway, we're trying something new here. This GoPro mount from Joe's Racing Products, and you can see it is pretty sturdy. See the other ones, the plastic GoPro, GoPro mounts I got over there? I always have to tape them because I'm afraid of them breaking and falling off. I don't think this one's going to go anywhere, but I'll leave a link in the description where you can find these cool gopro mount from joe's racing products pretty sturdy stout mounts right there swivel as well so you can pretty much use it just about anywhere you can get a clamp on a roll bar what about to do so what we figured out so is it's really hard to push these cars into the spot without reverse it's good to have reverse and well one of our cars don't have reverse not yours. No, it's not mine. No, he's got My car's car ready. Yeah. <laughs> we went to load up. Well, where are we at, George? If you remember in the last video, we said ready? Joseph's transmission was acting up. Go ahead. Don't let me hold you up. Cut away. Which way are you going to fling it? You got your glasses and you're ready. Brad, hold that piece from falling. Y'all watch your eyes. Remember, children, do as we say, not as we do. And gloves anyway in the last video we talked about how the transmission was acting up in this one we just went ahead and changed it now we got one of them one shifter deals and when joseph went to load up last night it didn't quite work so we're addressing that so he'll have reverse there is all tech raceway lake city florida a former asphalt track i believe it's really big but it also as you can see it's kind of flat and it stays pretty slick most of the time so it usually makes for some pretty interesting racing we've been over here quite a bit the last two years we actually our first trip here was back in like 2014 2015 joseph ran i believe second in a crate race back then then we didn't come back 
over here until April of last year, April of 2021, came over here and Joseph won the Harvey Jones Memorial, a 10,000 win crate race. Since then though, we just haven't been quite as good. We've run well over here, had two top tens with National Touring Series, Super Late Model Series this year. Lucas Oil back in February and the XR Series back in April. Had a good run going last year in this event, the Powell Family Memorial. I think Joseph was running fourth or fifth when uh, he blew up an engine. And then Jesse came over here, as we were talking about earlier, came over here back in April for the Harvey Jones race and qualified second fastest out of 40 something or 50 cars, whatever it was. Uh, struggled a little bit in the feature but still had a pretty pretty good run going all there. that to say both joseph and jesse are pretty good here so we're hoping for good results hoping we can get the cars dialed in tonight and be good to go for preliminary night tomorrow night Woo! it's ready had to jump off there so i'm sure it's going to be kind of hectic tonight with like both cars going to be coming and going trying to get them fine-tuned and you got a bunch of cars Making over 50, maybe 60 crate late models. So gonna be trying to get as much time as we can on the track and get these things fine-tuned and dialed in. So it's gonna be kind of a hectic night, but we'll try to catch as much action as we can and see if we can't go from uh, pretty good to really great by the time the night's over.
20 second laps is when they're turning. We'll see what Joseph does right here. You going cocky? Yeah.
still need a couple tents though. Yeah, what's the matter with that? Let me go see if I can mount it. <laughs> Hammered around one and two, really good. There's some moisture there. And three and four, you can enter high, hammer on it, and then try to rotate and drive off the bottom in the moisture. You didn't feel better when you stayed up there all the way around? I wonder which okay. one. I did that one. We made it through Talladega two nights without any starter issues. Get over here and both cars have starters go bad on night one. Anyway, Joseph's fastest time so far is a 19.5. Jesse has turned a 19.6. Fastest we've gotten anybody is a 19.4. Let's see what Joseph does right here. making more laps y'all didn't miss much track got really slick slowed way down but uh, i think we're in good shape you make how many times you make go on the track a bunch <laughs> four or five maybe four something like that you feel good hey, that was a, yeah i do oh uh, yeah actually i do feel yeah. pretty good uh, track got really slick it got slow. really slow yeah. the time me and jokes were other together it was it was slow i mean it, he had I mean, it was, a little bit when yeah he was fast i didn't feel great <laughs> it was slick then nobody yeah. felt great yeah you look good though. I think we're in good shape. I, I mean, car was drivable. I felt yeah. good. Just you know, slick. Hey, we'll do it all over again tomorrow. Hopefully, we'll be for fast. I think yeah. tomorrow we'll actually race. Shape. How did you feel? Uh, I feel like I'm a little balanced, but I can steer around there. I can steer around there better. I feel for what's grips left. I feel like I can steer around the bottom pretty good for what's left down. Yeah. Anyway, that'll do it for practice night. We will be here the next two nights. Tomorrow is qualifying. We'll get one more round of hot laps tomorrow. They'll qualify. And they'll heat race probably going to be there's probably well over 50 cars some really good ones here maybe even 60 who knows a lot of good cars heat race qualifying heat race tomorrow night need to get a good night in tomorrow night to put ourselves in good shape to make the show and make some noise in the main main event on saturday night for twenty seven thousand dollars. if you want to watch it live you can do that on flow racing thanks for watching this video like comment subscribe we'll see you later